Earlier this year, the Ditko estate sent a notice to Marvel Comics saying that they're canceling the copyrights on characters like Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and of course Iron Man, who Ditko designed the Iron Man costume, if you guys do not know. It's a little bit of history that some people don't know. And uh, <laughs> he actually uh, <clears throat> did so much work for Marvel over the years, really created these characters at the end of the day, did most of the work himself. If you don't know, like Stanley and him did not have a good relationship. He did most of the stuff. Uh, Stanley came in and filled in dialogue. It was mostly Ditko's creations that you're actually paying attention to today. And so uh, the Ditko estate wanted a different situation. Marvel tried to say it was a work for hire back in the day. And what they did is they screwed creators out of their own creations and screwed them out of uh, royalties for movies and the like as things went down the line. Steve Ditko was so... Uh, rigid about the way that he believed things. He actually wouldn't cash checks from Disney. Disney tried to give him like, you know, token payments uh, because of the theft that was done and because of the credit that he wasn't given uh, its proper due at the time. But the Ditko family now is saying, you know what, we should have a piece of this and they absolutely should. These are good people, uh, hardworking people who, of course, the Disney Corporation is pretending don't exist for a long time. And it looks like they're about to get their due based on a recent court ruling. So we're going to get into that in just a second. Uh, it looks like they got paid, my friends. Speaking of getting paid, uh, Top Grift. Here it is. This is my new comic book. And uh, I would love for you to get this uh, if you got paid today on a Friday. Go check this out and uh, get in the description below. This is a great comic. It's about aspiration. It's about a guy coming into his own. And it's got wonderful, wonderful art by Mike S. Miller from DC's Injustice. We are doing this right. And we're co-creators on this. We are splitting this 50-50. Uh, and of course, uh, he did a lot of work on it, as did I, to make a beautiful story for you. So if you like classic comics, if you like real heroes, this is a good spot to be. We are the alternative to mainstream comics. And that we are counting on you and your support. Check this out down below. Here's the story of the day. As mentioned, uh, this is reported by Cosmic Book News. Marvel and Steve Ditko estate settle dispute over Spider-Man Doctor Strange rights. Uh, Spider-Man Doctor Strange will remain at Marvel. So Marvel uh, immediately responded to this back in the day and said, you know, they have no legal ground to cancel these copyrights. It was work for hire and all that. And uh, Ditko went ahead, uh, his estate and his family did anyway, and said, no, that's not going to be the case anyway. Marvel wouldn't have lost any of the rights to these, by the way. They still wouldn't have been able to publish these, make movies, etc. It's just that the Ditko estate would get a cut of that going forward at that point, uh, was all the contention was, because this was a co-creation, and that's exactly uh, what they were trying to fight. So uh, a settlement came down this week, and of course, uh, it is now confidential. Disney is not saying anything, and neither is the Ditko estate. They're not allowed to say what it was, and there's a reason for that. What Disney doesn't want is to say, hey... Uh, we paid you millions of dollars because uh, it encourages all the other creators they screwed <laughs> over the years to try to do similar things. And they want to squash this uh, as quietly as possible. So Disney, of course, is just doing their little mouse thing and trying to maintain the status quo as much as possible. Now, this is not the first time they've had to deal with this. The Jack Kirby estate did similar a lot of years ago. And of course, Jack Kirby got screwed out of a lot of his creations also by Marvel and then eventually by Disney as things went along. So uh, this has been a train wreck of a situation for Disney. Uh, of course, uh, DC Comics did much the same thing with their Superman uh, and had uh, states with the Schuster uh, fights and all that back in the day as well. It's, it's a comic industry travesty that people don't get paid for their work. And it is the case more often than not, unfortunately. Now, I hope that the Ditko estate uh, does something really good going forward. Uh, there's a lot of cool Steve Ditko properties that he made by himself as independent properties. I've covered them a lot here on the channel. If you know that we uh, are huge Steve Ditko fans around here, and a lot of stuff uh, doesn't quite get the attention of Spider-Man and Doctor Strange that he created, but the guy was a genius, created really cool things, and the best work ethic out of anybody out there in comics. So I'm glad to see that his family's getting his due after all this time. All right, leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button. And of course, back top grift over on Fund My Comic today. It's not a grift, not like Marvel Comics. And of course, we'll be back soon.